Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Bethany Apostolic Community Church here in San Pedro. We do love to give God thanks and praise for this day. It's the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Why don't you give God a hand clap right where you are in the name of Jesus. We want you to bless our uh, praise team as they come before you and can give us the songs that they have for us all today. Bless them in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Come on and give God glory. Give God praise. Come on. Open up your mouth and give him worship. Hallelujah. He's a great big old God. Hallelujah. He's worthy of our, our heart. Hallelujah. Of our praise. We thank you. We praise God today. Hallelujah. For another day to glorify him. Come on and lift your hands with us. Lift your voice with us and pray with us. Glory.
Yeah. 
Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My hope is on the Lord, on the everlasting God. My, 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 there's a powerful spirit in this house. I said there's a powerful spirit in this house. We didn't get it from the 99 cent store. We didn't get it from 50s. We got it from the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And wherever you are, wherever you are, wherever you are, give heaven a wave. Hallelujah. Let God know. Hallelujah. That you love and you appreciate. And that you appreciate him. I said, give God heaven. Give heaven a wave. Hallelujah. I care where you are. In your bedroom. In the kitchen. Just stop what you're doing. I said, stop what you're doing and give heaven a wave. Hallelujah. Let God know that you love him. Let God know that you appreciate him. Hallelujah. Bye, 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 bye. Let him know that. I believe that God is smiling down upon us even during this pandemic. People say that the devil sent the pandemic, but the devil didn't do nothing that God didn't allow him to do. I believe that God sent the pandemic because we got too comfortable in our church, in the four walls of our churches. The mandate of the church is to go ye therefore, teaching all nations, baptizing in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. So that means that we come to a church building for instructions and for corporate worship. Hallelujah. We come together to give God glory. And we come together to give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we do thank you today for your love, your kindness, and your multitude of tender mercies that thou hast shown toward us on today. We thank you, O oh God, for seeing a day that we've never seen before and a day that we will never see again. We thank you, Father, for looking beyond our faults and seeing our needs. Father, we want to repent for anything that we've done against your will, God. Hallelujah. Sins of omissions and sins of commissions. Father, we pray, God, that you would remember our sin no more. You said you're faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And Father, we thank you for that today. We thank you for the new mercy that you deposited in up to my account on today. And we ask you, God, to help us that we might walk worthy of the vocation that you have given unto us even on today. Thank God for the mandate of the church. Hallelujah. And how, Lord God, you're going to allow us to fulfill that mandate in the name of Jesus. 
And I'm going to ask you to bless those that are listening by internet, listening by radio, by television, by telephone. We ask you, God, to bless them right where they are. In the mighty name of Jesus. And for this, Father, we'll give your name praise and glory. And it all belongs to you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In every heart, wherever you are, say amen and amen. Hallelujah. We want to, we want to uh, continue on our uh, uh, text that the sermon that God has been giving unto us, and that is the struggle to praise is real. The struggle to praise is real. Uh, some of y'all are struggling right now because of the situation that you're in. It's very difficult for you to give God praise and glory because of the bills that are coming in. Bad news that you got from the doctor. The children aren't acting right. My marital situation is bad. So it's hard to lift our hands and to give God glory and to give God praise. But guess what? It's all about faith. Faith is an act. Hallelujah. And though I may be going through a rough time right now, I believe that God is going to work everything out. I said, I believe that God is going to work everything out. I don't see it. Faith is the substance of things hope for and the evidence of things not seen. I don't see it. I don't see it. But God's word says it. Hallelujah. And we are obligated to hear the word, receive the word, and to do the word. In the mighty name of Jesus. We've been talking from the book of 2 Chronicles chapter number 20. And I want to go back there because there's something there that I really want us to see and really want us to know because uh, it's important for us that when tough times come uh, you go to the rock I said when tough times come you go to the rock hallelujah she, she said he said I will look unto the hills from which cometh my help my help cometh from the Lord that made heaven and earth we look for our neighbors, we look for our best friends, we look for our loved ones, in many instances, to get us out of some of the stuff that we got ourselves into. Hallelujah. But our only hope during this pandemic, I said our only hope is in God. Are y'all listening to me? I said our only hope is in, is in God. All right, I want to start at verse number five in this particular text. And it says, Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court. And he asked God a few rhetorical questions. And those, those are questions that, uh, that he already had the answer for. But he asked God because sometimes when trouble comes, confusion comes. I know I'm talking to somebody. Sometimes confusion comes and sometimes a doubt comes. What is doubt? Doubt is getting uh, uh, not all of the information. Uh, and unbelief is having all the information and not doing what's right by that information. I'm trying to help somebody if you let me. Hallelujah. Thank you. So he was asking God some rhetorical questions. And one of them was, he said in verse number six, and oh, uh, Lord our God, our Father, art not thou God in heaven? That's rhetorical. We already know that God is in. Are y'all listening to me? And, 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 and rule it not thou, hallelujah, over all the kingdoms of the heathens. Next question is, in, in thy hands is not there not power and might? Rhetorical questions, all right? So that none is able to withstand thee. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but we live in a day we have to understand that, that God, hallelujah, God can do anything but fail. Don't touch yourself and wherever you are to say God can do anything uh, but fail. All right, hallelujah. And the next rhetorical question is in the in, uh, verse number seven. Now, art thou, art not thou our God who does drive out the inhabitants of this land before thy people Israel and gave it, it to the seed of Abraham, thy friend forever. Hallelujah. Another rhetorical question. He already had the answer to that. Right. Verse, hallelujah. 
Verse number eight, and they dwelt therein and have built their houses and sanctuaries therein for thy name, saying, all right, if, verse number nine, if when the evil cometh upon us as a sword, a judgment or a pestilence or a famine, we stand before this house. Hallelujah. This house right here is a house of refuge. Y'all not saying nothing. I said, in, 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 in Bible days, if you were in trouble and you just got to the house of refuge, that means you got to the house of safety. Ha hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so he was he was reminding God to something that God had already know. I know this is a house of safety. I know this is a house where you can get help, deliverance, and be set free. Are y'all listening to me today? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He said, now, now we, we have our enemies that's coming against us. Right. Uh, the, the Ammons and and we have the uh, uh, Moab, Moabites and we have the Mount Seir. They're coming. And, and these are the people that we were supposed to invade, but you wouldn't allow us to do it. Right. Help, help. Those enemies that you that that, that 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 we could have invaded and take over. Remember, you remember in the Bible days when Israel had just gotten out of Egypt and they asked the Amalekites, he said, can we go through this land uh, to get to Canaan? And they said, no. It's in the Bible, it's in the Bible. He, he said, they said, no. He said, go around. He said, we're not going to touch nothing. We're not going to touch your water. We're not going to touch nothing. And they said, no. And these same people are the ones that are coming now to invade the land of Canaan, the land that God had promised his people. Are y'all listening to me? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, in verse 15, we see that a prophet stood up in the midst of the crowd. Hallelujah. The church needs a prophet. Amen. The church needs somebody that's able to speak yeah. in the face of God. Hallelujah. Amen. How can we hear without a preacher? Amen. And how can he preach? Except he be sitting on show quiet in here. Hallelujah. How can he preach? Except he be sent. Yeah. Hallelujah. Everybody needs a preacher. I said, everybody needs a preacher. Hallelujah. You're not supposed to do this on your own. Who are you? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We all are subject to somebody. Thank you, Jesus. And so everybody, everybody needs, everybody needs a preacher. Y'all listen to me today. And this young man, uh, Jehaziel, stood up in the midst of the crowd. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And he said, he said, hearken ye, verse 15, hearken ye, all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thy king Jehoshaphat, thou thus said the Lord unto you, be not afraid. I'm talking to somebody that's listening to me today. Hallelujah. The enemy has crowded against you. He's circling the wagons getting ready in a sense to take you under. But I'm here to tell you, don't be afraid. Are y'all listening to me? I said, don't, don't, don't be afraid. Don't, uh, uh, don't be scared that the enemy is going to take over you because God said uh, that he's not going to let nothing take over over you. He said, I've never seen the righteous forsake. Right. Are y'all listening to me? Or his seed begging bread. He said in another scripture, no weapon formed, y'all not saying nothing, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. He did not say that weapons were going to be formed. Understand that. Hallelujah. We're going to have to suffer. The Bible says after you have suffered a while, we're going to go through some things, but it will not prosper. Am I helping somebody here today? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're, we're, in a, we're in a time where the Bible said there's going to be wars and, and rumors of wars. The Bible said there's going to be fathers against sons and sons against uh, mothers against daughters. This is the day that we're living in now. But those weapons formed shall not. Did y'all hear what I said? No weapon shall uh, uh, prosper against the child of God. The prophet said what? He said, be not afraid, nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude. I know I know the giant looks big. Hallelujah. Your, 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 
financial problem might look big in your eyes. Your, your psychological disposition might be big in your eyes. Uh, the, prim, the family issues, hallelujah, might be big in your eyes. And you don't see how you're going to make it through. But hallelujah, the Bible said, do not be afraid and don't be dismayed, hallelujah, for the battle is not yours. Hallelujah, but God. I dare you to say the battle ain't mine. But it's God. And need it from your heart. The battle is not mine, but it's God. Hallelujah. So if it's God, then I ain't got nothing to worry about. Because God is going to take care of me. Do y'all believe that? Hallelujah. I, I, I understand. We're saved, but we're human. And for some of us, uh, we see the problem uh, bigger than the problem solver. And we keep going back. God said, okay, I, 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 I hear you, Lord, and I know that you're going to take care of me. And I forget about it for a minute. Then, then I go revert back to my human side. That says, this thing is too big for me. Hallelujah. It's not yours. I'm not just preaching to you. I'm preaching to myself right now. I said, the ballot ain't just ain't mine. And, and I have to take my hands off of it. Y'all not saying that. I say, y'all got to take your hands off of it. Because while your hands are still on it, God can't do what he want to do for you. Hallelujah. Take your hands off. The fight ain't yours. Did y'all hear what I said? The fight ain't yours. Stop fighting a battle that's not yours. It don't make no sense. Hallelujah. The battle belongs to God. Hallelujah. He told you that. Hallelujah, by the man of God is telling you that those of you that are listening to me in the audience, those that are listening to me through the internet, the battle ain't yours. Give it to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yeah, I know you ain't got to tell your flesh to shut up and sit down. Hallelujah. If you got to put your hand over your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the battle is not yours. Some of y'all can't give God glory because you're still holding on to it. I said some of you cannot give God glory because you're still holding on to something you can't do nothing about. Hallelujah. You're worrying about stuff that you can't do nothing about. Hallelujah. You're fighting stuff that you can't do nothing about. Listen, can I help y'all today? You can't help if nobody don't like you. You can't change nobody's opinion about you. God got to change it. And if God don't change it, it will not be changed. Hallelujah. We all look at them, and I know sometimes I, I, I want everybody to like me. Everybody's not going to like me. Hallelujah. Everybody's not going to like me just, just because it don't matter whether you're black, white, green, blue, or pink. Hallelujah. Somebody is not going to like you. Here Jesus fed 10,000 people. Here Jesus raised folk from the dead. Here Jesus did all of these great things, and some of the same people that he's done stuff for they didn't like it. And they chose Barabbas over Jesus. So folk won't choose the enemy over you. So you ain't got no business trying to make everybody like you. Well, Y'all not going to help me today. Hallelujah! Because they're not. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. They're not. So I so I come to the opinion that I, I, I have to love them whether they like me or not. And Y'all not going to say nothing. All right, so he addressed the crowd and he said, be not, be not afraid, be not dismayed, for the battle is not yours, but it's it's the Lord's. I want to move down. I want to move down because I think this, is, this may be the last week I'm going to be talking about this. He tells them, uh, 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 verse number 18, no, I'm sorry, verse 17, ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Talking to somebody here that's going to listen to me. Set yourselves and stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord. O Judah and Jerusalem, he said, fear not and be dismayed. He said that twice. So, so he's putting emphasis on the fact that he understands we're human. And he understands that we will fall into the fear factor. And we will allow that to hinder us from giving God the praise and the glory that he is doing. Y'all listening to me. Hallelujah. Verse number 21 says, And when he had, count, had uh, uh, consulted with the people, he appointed singers, he appointed a praise team, 
unto the Lord that they should praise the, uh, the, uh, the beauty of holiness as they went before the army and to say praise the Lord for his mercy endureth forever. How powerful right there. Hallelujah. All right. Verse number 22 says, And when they began to sing and to praise the Lord. <laughs> Are y'all read that with me? I said, The Lord set ambushment against the children of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir, which they came against Judah, and they were smitten. Y'all didn't get that. I said y'all didn't get that. When they begin to sing and give praise to God, the Bible said that God set an, an ambush for them. In, in other words, when I praise God in the midst of my struggle, God will confuse the enemy and the enemy will turn around and kill themselves. Hallelujah! Are y'all y'all listening to me? But 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 I'm not talking about no pseudo praise. I'm talking about giving God. I said I'm giving God my heart, my soul, my mind, my strength in praise. Are y'all listening to me? Hallelujah! He don't need your pseudo praise. Hallelujah! He wants your praise from your heart. He wants to praise from your all your might, all your strength. And when you begin to give God glory in the midst of your struggle, God will send an ambushment against your enemy. Hallelujah. And the enemy will be confused. And if you read the text, the Bible says the enemy started killing themselves. Did y'all hear what I said? I said the enemy. Oh, y'all don't believe what I said. Uh, uh, verse number, verse number uh, 20, 23 uh, said, for the children of Ammon and uh, uh, Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir. In other words, they started fighting each other. <laughs> I said they started fighting each other. All right, let's let's read some more. And utterly they to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end to the inhabitants of Seir, every one helped to destroy another. So they, uh, so so both uh, Moab and Ammon went to Mount Seir and killed all of them, yeah. and then they, they ended up turning around and killing each other. Yeah. Why? Because they were confused because of what God did. Uh -huh. Why? Because those, even in the midst of their struggle, gave God glory. Y'all yeah. not gonna hear me today. I said they gave God glory, yeah. and they gave God praise, looking at the enemy in their face. Hallelujah. I know it's hard. I know it's hard for, for us to, to, to want to give God glory uh, when our children uh, are not doing what they're supposed to do. But you pray in advance knowing that God's going to make everything all right. Are, are y'all listening to me? Your finances may not be what they're supposed to be. Hallelujah. But if you give God glory and you do what you're supposed to do, which pay your tithe and give your offering, the Bible said he will he will he will take away the devourer. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I give him his 10%. God will bless your 90% and you have money left over. Right. Y'all not gonna help me today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, I don't care where you go to church. Uh if you don't do what's right as far as your tithes and offerings is concerned, your money is cursed. Yeah. I know it's gonna get quiet when I talk about money. I said, your money is cursed. Yeah. Hallelujah. You wonder why there's holes in your pocket. Yeah. You wonder why you got unexpected bills. Right. Hallelujah. I, I'm here to tell you that God is going to get his money. Right. Right. Hallelujah. God don't need his money, but his church needs his money. Right. The storehouse needs his money. Right. Hallelujah. The lights need to be on. The gas yeah. needs to be on. The mortgage has to be paid. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I know all pastors ain't doing what's right, but that's all right. I'm going to do what's right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And because you do us right, God will bless you. Are y'all listening to me? Hallelujah. The, the, during this pandemic, the Lord has blessed this church. Focus sending money that don't even go to this church. Hallelujah. Because God 
watch and I shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. If you knew what God tells you to do, God is going to bless you. I wish I had some help in here. Hallelujah. God is not short of his promise. Whatever he said, that the Bible said that I'm not a man that I should lie, nor the son of man that I should repent. Whatever I said, I'm going to make it good. Are y'all listening to me? Hallelujah. So if I know that, and if I understand that, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He, he, the Lord will let me know all I got to do is what I'm supposed to do. And that's in the midst of your struggle. Give God the glory. And y'all show quiet in here. I said, I, and I understand. I understand. I understand because we got to fight this human part of us that's dealing with pain. It's dealing with sorrow and dealing with a whole lot of craziness going on in this world today. And, and the church is of non effect of that. Hallelujah. We got to deal with it like everybody else. I, 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 the, the problem don't stop at the saint's house. The Bible says, man born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble. Are y'all listening to me? Hallelujah. We got to deal with it. But we got somebody to help us. We got the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost to help us in a time of struggle. Help us in a time of weakness. Help us in a time of despair. Help us. Hallelujah. And he will help us. Y'all don't believe what I just said. I said he will help us. Somebody believe it. Say I, he will help me. I said he will help me. Hallelujah. 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 As an act of faith. We must not get caught up in what we see. Amen. Amen. Because what we see is not always what is. That's right. That's right. Sometimes we get caught up in an optical illusion. Right. Uh -huh. It appears, yeah. but that don't necessarily mean that that's what it is. Right. Am, am I making any sense? Yeah. That's why we have to stand on the word of God that will not change. My attitude changed. My spirit changed. My, my, my disposition changes. But the word of God does not change. It was the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Are y'all listening to me? Hallelujah. And I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. I thank God for that. All right. Now, now, uh, now I'm, I'm saying that because the doctor may have given you some bad news. I said the doctor may have given you some bad news. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But my God said, <laughs> I said the doctors may have given you some bad news, but my God said that by his stripes, I said by his stripes, I'm healed. Now, now the question is, do you believe what you just said? I, 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 I dare you, those of you that are not feeling well in your body, touch where you are right now. Hallelujah. I said, touch where you are right now. And say, by his stripes, I am healed. Hallelujah. And start giving him glory and praise for him. Some of y'all not going to do that. Hallelujah. By his stripes, I am healed. And I'm going to give God glory for it. Even though I may not feel it, I'm going to give God glory for it because his word says I'm healed. I said his word says I'm healed. I said his word says I'm healed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You may have gotten fired from your job. Hallelujah. Like many of people are fired from their job because of this pandemic. People have been fired from their jobs. But my God said, I shall supply. Y'all don't even get it. I said, I shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. Now, the question is, do I believe that? And if I believe that, I need to open up your mouth, throw your head back, and give God some glory and give God some praise. Are, are y'all listening to me? Hallelujah. David said, I never seen y'all, never seen the righteous forsaken nor his chief begging bread. Hallelujah. The word says it. I believe it. That settles it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You may not have all the money you want. I said, you may not have all the money you want, but he said, I shall supply all of your need. He didn't say I was going to supply all of your wants. He said, I'm going to supply all of your need. Hallelujah. So if there's a need, we serve a right now God that's able to take care of your need. I'll show quiet in here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
You better get up off that, that, that seat of pity parties. I don't go to pity parties. Anything that God allows to happen to me, hallelujah, is for my good. Are y'all listening to me? And so because I know it's for my good, I'm going to give God glory and praise. Whatever the situation may be. Hallelujah. People don't look at you like you know, lost your mind. Look at you like you crazy. Hallelujah. But I don't care. Hallelujah. My God shall take care of me. I said the Lord is going to take care of me. I said the Lord, your job ain't taking care of you. Hallelujah. I said your job ain't taking care of you. God is taking care of you. Who do you think gave you the job in the first place? Hallelujah. You better open up your mouth and give God glory. Hallelujah. You better open up your mouth and give God praise. Hallelujah. Your ingenuity, your smarts didn't get you where you were. It was God that did it. I said it was God that did it. So God deserves the glory. God deserves the praise. Are y'all listening to me? Hallelujah. I know the struggle is real. I know the struggle is real to give God glory. When you're hurting in your body, I know the struggle is real. When you ain't got no money in your pocket. But they said, even though it's, I don't have it, God's going to give it to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, God is going to give it to me. I said, God is going to give it to me. I said, God is going to give it to me. I said, God is going to give it to me. Hallelujah. And so I praise him in advance for what I know he's going to do. Are y'all listening to me? I said, I praise God in advance for what I know he's going to do. Anybody know that God is going to bless you right now? So praise him in advance for that. He's going to heal you right now. Praise him in advance before that. Hallelujah. That's faith. That's faith. That's faith. That's faith. Faith got feet. I said faith got feet. Faith ain't somewhere sitting up in the corner. Faith says, I know I'm hurting. But I'm still going to open up my mouth. I don't feel like it. Hallelujah. But that's the, that's the best time to praise God. When you don't feel like it. Because God looks at the sacrifice knowing you don't feel like it. Hallelujah. He looks at your sacrifice because he knows you don't feel like it. Hallelujah. And he said, I'm going to open up my mouth even though I don't feel like it. And the, the praise might be, be, be a, little, a little quiet right now, but keep saying Jesus. Keep saying Jesus. Just keep saying Jesus. Just keep saying Jesus. In your condition, just keep Jesus. Just start giving him the glory. Just start giving God the praise. And watch something on the inside. It's going to turn up on the inside. It's going to turn up on the outside. And giving God the glory and giving God the praise. And watch God work things out for you. Hallelujah. I say watch God. Watch God. Watch God. Work it. Work it out for you. Lord, I feel, I feel like I'm losing my mind. But he said in his word, I will keep them in perfect peace whose mind is on him. So if you are going through some difficult times in your mind, start giving God the glory. Start giving God the praise. Hallelujah. Even if your mind is messed up, I dare you to say Jesus just a few times. I dare you to say hallelujah just a few times. I dare you to say glory to God just a few times. In the name of Jesus, I have, I have, I have, I have the victory. Hallelujah. In other words, I've won before the battle starts. I said, I said, I won before the battle starts. Because the battle ain't mine, no way. The battle belongs to God. When my enemies, even my foes, came upon me to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and failed. Because the battle is not mine, but the battle is the Lord's. God, not go help me. Hallelujah. I got to get out the way and allow God to do what God wants to do. I got to get out the way and allow God to fight my battle. I got to get out the way and let God do what he wants to do. Because God deserves the glory. God 
deserve the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now we give the applause. Hallelujah. 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 So I praise him for my deliverance in advance. I praise him for the victory in advance. I praise him for deliverance in advance. I thank him for my family in advance. I thank him for my money in advance. Hallelujah. I thank him for my children in advance. Y'all listen to me. Hallelujah. I thank him. For the mountains, I thank him. For the valleys, I thank him. For the storms he brought me to. And if I never had a problem, I'd never know that God could solve them. I'd never know what thinking God can do. Do it all. 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 I learned. God said that the, I learned to trust in Jesus. I learned to trust in God. Do it all. Do it all. I've learned how to depend upon His word. I said I've learned to depend upon His word. I've learned to depend upon His word. is on the other side of your praise. I said your deliverance is on the other side of your praise. Y'all not listening to me. I said your deliverance is on the other side of your praise. So until, until you train yourself, until you train yourself that in the midst of your struggle, in the midst of your pain. Shut up. I said in the middle of it. In the middle of your storm. In the middle of your storm. You prove to God that, that I know you're going to bring me out all right. And, and, and to show you that I believe you, I'm going to lift my hands. And I'm going to give God the glory. I don't know how you're going to do it, Lord. My, 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 shout out. I don't know how you're going to do it. My, 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 shout out. I don't know how you're going to do it. And I don't care how you do it. I just want you to do it. My, 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 shout out. I have to train myself. 
I, I, I said I have to train myself through the agency of the Holy Ghost to give God glory in my storm. Because I understand the struggle to praise God in this time is real. I'm not, I'm not faking. I'm not faking. I'm not, I'm not joking. It's hard to praise God when difficulties all around. When pain is, you know, I'm not saying nothing. I say when pain is all around. It's hard to get your hands. People like you say, lift your hands. The praise team say, lift your hands. And you don't want to do it. Come on, come on, come on. And I, I, and I realize, I realize it's not because you want to be disobedient. I realize because there's pain that causes us sometimes not to be able to do what God has called us to do. But he said in the scripture now, he said in everything give thanks. In everything give thanks. In the good times give thanks. In the bad times give thanks. In the confusing times give thanks. When you fall, give thanks. Because this is the will of God concerning you. I'm making any sense here. Hallelujah. So, so even though, even though I don't feel like it, and for most of us, we don't feel like it. Might as well be honest because we can't help nobody if we are honest. There's times, there's times when you don't feel appreciated for all you do. Sometimes we look at our children and all that we do for them. I know I'm more down y'all street, that's why y'all ain't saying that. And all that we do for them. And it seems and it appears that we are unappreciated. So what can you, can you imagine God who allows us health and strength? Can you, can you imagine God who goes out of his way to help us and some of us don't even get up and tell him thank you enough? How ungrateful. Oh, we're living in an ungrateful ungrateful I said the world is ungrateful. I don't care how much you do for folk, folk want you to do more. Folks mind is what have you done for me lately? I'm not gonna help you. And so if I haven't done nothing for you lately, then you ain't done nothing for me. Did y'all hear me? They they feel you ain't done nothing for them. But all that you've done, all that you sacrifice, all that you've laid out. Stuff that you had could have done for yourself, you turned around and did for them. And they show you how ungrateful they are. And they won't even tell you thank you. But just think. A lot of us do the same thing to God. He brought us out of danger, seen and unseen. He's paid bills for us. He's protected our children from her all the way danger. And we don't even tell him thank you. Because the struggle is real. It's a praise. But we're gonna work out of that. I say we're gonna denounce that spirit in the name of Jesus. I curse that demon right now in the name of Jesus. I will give, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continue to be in my mouth. I'm going to get rid of complaining. Did y'all hear what I said? I said I'm going to get rid of complaining. Lord, help me even in my worry. I, I said, help me even in my worry. Hallelujah. Because it doesn't do me any good to worry. You get cancer, you get uh, 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 ulcers from worrying about stuff you can't do nothing about. So I ask God to help me in my worry. Help me in my complaining. Help me in my struggle to give you the glory. I say help me in my struggle to give you glory. Because without you, I can't do nothing. Without you, I'd fail. Without you, I'm like a ship. I'll say hallelujah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pray as we leave the program today that the Lord will help 
us in the area of praise. Our churches have put these praise teams together. That's Jehoshaphat did. Back in the day, he didn't put a praise team together because he could not get a united front from the congregation. It's not up to the praise team to praise. The Bible said that everything that hath breath, praise the Lord. Ain't that what he said? But we allow, we, we let them do it. Our praise team did a wonderful job this morning. But we let them do it. But God said that everything. I said, these plants here, these plants are praising God right now. Look at them. They're giving God the glory right now. Huh? Because it has, it, it breathes in oxygen. The trees out there are giving God glory with the waves. Hallelujah. What about us? I was so quiet in here. I said, what about us? God deserves the glory. God deserves the glory. Father, I decree a blessing on each and every one that's hearing my voice today. And I ask you, Father, that you would help us in the area of praise. I'm not saying this because I want people to get emotional. But I'm saying it because you are worthy of the praise. You're worthy of the glory and you're worthy of the honor. And sometimes we forget all that you do for us. How you woke us up this morning. There's somebody that didn't wake up today. But you allowed us to wake up today. And you allowed us to come to the house of prayer. You allowed us to turn on the internet. And to see you or to hear your voice today. And Father, we're grateful for that in the name of Jesus. I come, come, come against every spirit yeah. of non-praise. Right. I said, I come against every spirit of non-praise. Because the Bible said that, that everything that hath breath to praise the Lord. And Father, we praise you today. We give your name glory today. And we give your name honor today. And we ask it all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 The Lord, bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift his countenance upon thee and grant thee peace. Let the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Go in peace and sin no more. We love you to life. There's nothing that you can do about it. In the name of Jesus, be thou blessed. In Jesus' name.